what to say. It's been about a week since I filmed last video. And to say that I'm a stan is probably an understatement, but let's just say that. There is something laced within those songs. I swear I have been obsessed. Please comment down below what your favorite song from the Aurora album is. I would love to know. We are back for part two. This is the last five episodes of Daisy Jones and the six. Today's outfit is inspired by none other than my favorite, favorite character to exist. Camilla. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Okay. This makes me, this show is the definition of making me feel like a 70s like slut. Oh my God. There's nothing sluttier than being a band in the 70s. Stop looking at her like that. Stop. Okay. But I would too. Cause with a voice like that, how do you not fall in love with, I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to be team Camilla and I am team Camilla. I am at the end of the day. Like I, I will put my life on the line for her. But you can't deny that like Daisy is the definition of like a manic pixie dream girl who everyone would fall in love with. Stop doing that. <laughs> Actually, Eddie, stop moving your head like that because it's giving me Please, I'm down on my knees. I have a family. Please, I'm down on my knees. I have a family. Please, I'm down on my knees. I have a family. A family? You're down on your knees. You have a family. It's like every single time I try to appreciate Daisy and Billy, it just something swoops in and it reminds me. He loves you. No, he doesn't. Karen, please don't tell anyone. You know how I was... <laughs> you know how I was praising the show in the last video for... How say? Creating good side character arcs. And they were expanding on these side characters in ways that um, were very true on individuality. It was like individual story arcs that we saw Simone and even Teddy, the producer, go through. Like he has his own arc going through it. It's much smaller, but it's his own arc nonetheless. Karen doesn't. And it sucks. It sucks because she is this like really cool character. She came from another band. She just wants to, you know, be this. She just wants to be a part to play music. Like she's very free, kind of with the wind, kind of doing what she has to to survive and still do what she loves doing. But that's kind of it. And she hasn't really had a plot until Graham. Basically until Graham started speaking to her, she was not really gonna have a role. And before they start embellishing on Graham and Karen's story, she doesn't really have a part other than being kind of like a girl's girl. Like she kind of comforts Daisy. And I'm really sad that the only in-depth conversations we're having with Karen is when in relation to Graham. Let's go from the top. He looks so fine when he's like a little bit angry. For the record. Again. Dude, it's so hot. <laughs> stop. 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 He's right. It doesn't sound that great. <laughs> he, you know what? He might be right because it's not sounding as good as she can. What did you say to her? What do you mean? I mean, the voice on the album. How'd you get her to sing like that? Tell me if I'm fucking crazy. It did make it sound better. Oh my God. Ew, they're like, I fucking in the studio. He's like right in front of her. Ew, and he's so happy. Ew, 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 ew. Oh my God. And it did make the song sound better. That's the fucking horrid part is that it did make it sound so much better. She just needed a smooch from that man that she's after. And that, that man's after her as well. I'm going out for a bit. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. You are going out for a bit, mama. <laughs> she is mother. Like at the end of the day, she is mother. And oh my God. Oh my goodness. You look so amazing. There were just so many secrets. I think I just needed one of my own. Good. I hope you guys went hard. Because you deserve it. You deserve it after everything he did to you. You deserve to fuck his bandmate. <laughs> hey. Woo. I got one for you this time. 
Well, every single time they say anything to each other, it sounds like such a freaking sex request. It does. They have so much tension with laced within their voices. It sounds like every single time they say a line to each other, they're about to rip each other's clothes off. If you love her. I don't. Well, if you ever do, that is when this ends. Hey. 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 The hey, hey, hey is like so sickening to my stomach. Like it makes me want to vomit. Hey, 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 hey. I, uh, then everything else we can handle. Camilla, no. Get, stand, stand up! Stand up! Throw his clothes into a lake. What do you mean? I'm, I'm looking for the woman who lives here. Nobody's lived here since Wednesday. Since Wednesday. She sound, she made, she delivered that line like it was someone saying that no one's lived here for years and Daisy was just an imagination. That's how they dropped that line. No one's lived here since Wednesday. No one's lived here for 84 years. Cried that the new damn guy must have thought I was losing my mind. Yeah, I did. I saw it. And I read it too. Wait, wait. You're right. You're right. I'm being rude. I remember what Rolling Stones wrote about her. I remember, and I remember that it was Billy who literally set that freaking thing off. Okay, you're right. Her character, it makes sense for her character to do all this stuff, but oh, it's like kind of giving a boring episode. Ooh. Nobody tells Daisy what to do. Except for Billy Dunn. Fuck, I'm, I'm literally, this episode, this is why they fucking included this episode, because they knew it would make me so much, I would be like, yeah, of, of course Billy and Daisy should be together, because get her away from this motherfucker. He hasn't even done anything wrong. Yes, you do, you're just too fucking scared of Billy Dunn. Are you in love with me? Ew. Is that what this is? Ew. I'm trying to- No, absolutely not. I, yeah. I'm surprised she didn't fucking punch her in the face. You know how Camilla slapped Billy? I wish Simone slapped Daisy. Cause, oh my God, that was, ugh. And you know what? I don't have anything <laughs> to say to that. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> Case closed because I gave some leeway. I gave a lot of leeway to Daisy, but I don't know. I think throwing that in someone's face because of Nikki? Because of Nikki motherfucking Nikki, Nikki, whatever his last name is, because of him? This need to connect. Is it true? Girl, and it's not just a need to connect with the audience. It's a need to connect with the certain somebody initials b d initials b d okay so you want to start the set with aurora that's what we decided yeah when you were fucking gone usually i'm on daisy's side but like she was literally gone like and this is how she's acting Ooh. oh but again he did do that thing to the article so you're right you're right you're right you're right you're right he deserves that. Never mind. I take it all back. Again, I try to defend Billy and I can't do it. There's no tour without me, dumb son of a bitch. We're playing Regret Me. I'm here for her, actually. Who the fuck is this guy? Everybody, this is Nikki. My husband. This is how I wish episode seven started. I wish we didn't really have that much in episode seven about their whole wedding. I wish it was like a, I wish it was like a plot twist drop. Oh my God, her face. Her face in the, don't put those reflective glasses on him because her face looked crazy in the reflection of them. Don't do it. Don't do it because that was crazy. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> but do it again. That was crazy, but do it again. Thank you so much. I'm never, I, I will thank the person who decided to give him the most reflective glasses ever. You're laughing? You're laughing? You think this is a game? You think this is a, a fucking game and you're laughing? Your girl's been stolen on stage in front of a million people. What do you mean you're laughing? This is not a joke. So will they go on tour? <laughs> so will they actually go on tour? Please? <laughs> you know when he said, I'm down on my knees, I have a family, that was me. <laughs> he was talking about me. I have a family, but please go on tour. <laughs> Please. Cause now it's not funny anymore. Now it's not a joke that I'm obsessed with a fictional band. Now it's like for real. Like I'm not messing around anymore. It's not a bit. It's like I listen to this in my day to day life and I get excited and a little bit tingly when I see them perform on stage. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not so funny anymore. You thought it was funny? You thought this was a fucking joke? Camilla was never laughing, but you thought it was ha ha funny, but it wasn't ha ha funny. It was ha ha weird. And you should have known that, bitch. It's real that you're happy that you're in love? I am happy and I am in love. Stop looking at each other's lips when you're screaming at each other. I know what it looks like when you're in love with someone. Yes, I always get excited when they hit him. Dude, that was kind of crazy though. Oh my God. So hot. <laughs> so hot. Yes, smash. Keep fighting and keep looking at each other's lips while you do it. I love it. I want it all. Give it to me now. Could we, could we talk about it? Oh, I, to I, was, I totally forgot that they hooked up. So I've been like, what, what is the big deal? I was confused and I was hurt and you were there. For like, and she knows that he's like in love with her. Like he, she has to know, dude. It's okay. It's just Eddie. Oh, I don't know that man. They haven't given me enough about Eddie for me to care about his character like that. I see you still like to watch. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that guys? That was really scary. Not like that. <laughs> Cause he's not into dudes. And his dick is, it's perfect. That's a really odd way. That's a very odd line, guys. His dick is perfect. Why would, that's not a line. That's not real. That's not real at all. <laughs> yeah, no wonder why they're fucking laughing at you because that was the weirdest dialogue piece I've ever seen in my life. That whole dialogue piece made it also cringy. I liked them before, but now I'm, and now it's just cringy. It's embarrassing. Like, don't do that. The fact that her husband was watching like this. Like, there's not a, there's not a single thought behind that brain. Like, what a, what a useless piece of shit. <laughs> like, he is the stupidest motherfucker in the world. You're smiling like... What do you mean you're smiling? Like, how is there only one person that's like, yeah, like, it's not a sweet moment. It's not sweet at all. It's not the sweet life on deck. It's actually horrid. Come on. Oh my God. He the fuck are you doing? Sorry. I oh my God. Sam Coughlin, Masterclass in Acting 101. Damn. Guys, I don't even know. I'm not even, I don't even know what to say about that, dude. I don't even know what to say about it, but it had everything that I liked. Piece of shit, reveals himself as a piece of shit. Um, not that he didn't reveal it earlier, because, I mean, we all knew. And Billy taking down his walls and showing how much he cares about Daisy because she was literally on the brink of death. Stop, I don't, your cue can't be serious. You had a bit of fun, maybe too much. Please, please be joking. Please be joking right now. Is it over now? Is it? I said pack your shit up. You already packed it once, babe. <laughs> the bag is already packed, like. Oh, oh. oh wait, that made me happy that all the band members right. came to, to help change. her. Fucking that mistake. made me really happy. I wish they did more with Karen and Daisy's friendship. Karen has these slight moments where she comforts Daisy, but they don't really like give it anything. Even Karen and Camilla's relationship, like it is practically non-existent, but I wish they did because it's so important. Like this scene where she like, these people that just stood up for her to like get the fuck off of her, she confides in Karen. Like you see like these pivotal parts of the story, they're just like not getting. And I am very annoyed by it. At least when it comes to characters, I think most people, me, as someone that hasn't read the books, individual personalities and character arcs for each member of the band is important to me. We're kind of just stuck on this 
it only matters if they have some sort of romantic connection. And that's really kind of bothering me at this point. Karen has this care for Daisy. They're the only girls in the group. And, and Karen, you know, whenever she joins, she has to talk to Camilla. And there's this like solidarity within them that they just only do in passing. And I think that is like such a shame. And I'm not saying that I want like a girl power moment. Like, oh my God, we're girls and we stick together. I just wish they let Daisy and Karen speak to each other. Let them pass the Bechtel test. We're not passing the Bechtel test, guys. We're not. Daisy Jones of the Six, we're not passing the Bechtel test. It's like, give Karen more than one line. I've been there too, remember? Why don't you call Teddy? Can I sleep here tonight? Of course. I'll, uh... I mean, I... I don't have anything really bad to say about that. I don't really have a, a critique of it. I think it's this really dynamic back and forth between them of seeing like the horrid parts of yourselves. And, but it's also intertwined with not just this uh, companionship of like common suffering. It's also this draw, this um, lust, this um, magnetism between them, which I think is like, super dynamic. I think it's it's creating such a addicting, I know poor choice of words, but addicting storyline to consume. It's like every single scene when they end, it's it's leaving me wanting more. I want to see where their story goes and you know, I told you I am the Camilla stand first and yada yada yada, but I will say that their scenes First of all, the actor's chemistry is, is amazing, but also just the way it's just, it's giving me just a little bit, and it's just giving me just enough to be like, I need more. And I think that can go also well with the type of relationship that they have with each other and the relationship they have with their drugs and their substances. Like, I think it's, it's very calculated and very much purposeful. Like, none of this is on accident. And I'm gonna appreciate that. I think that's a really cool part of the story to appreciate. Oh my God, Teddy. What? You're not gonna kill off Teddy. Oh my God. Come on. This was like the one show that I thought wouldn't have to deal with anyone dying randomly. We could go back to before. Come on guys. It's just the way that they look each at each other. It's like, it's like she's singing a song and he's looking directly I don't even know what to say at this point. There's not much to say. And they haven't shown Camilla in so long that it's like, you're trying to trick me. But they're like meant to, I, I can't, I, I, they're meant to be. That's just the way that they look at each other. Like, no way you knew what all that meant. <laughs> no way you knew what all that meant, Camilla. Don't lie to me. Even I'm not that good at reading. Like, come on. I don't know, Julia could, could definitely use a sibling and I just feel like we would be ready this time. Dare I say this too soon, but obviously the interviewer is Julia. I mean, right? Like obviously, who else would wanna who else would want to interview this like two-year band from the 70s? It's obviously Julia. He's like, are you fucking kidding me? That's like the wrong person to do it to, right? Like Eddie already hates you so bad. She's like, I'm gonna fucking kill this bitch. And that's, and I, again, adding on to it, these scenes between Camilla and Karen, they just missed out on actually building that dynamic between them. They gave us such little of it that it just doesn't land as hard as it could. The highs, the lows, it's it's all part of it. We, we write 10 more albums. We, I mean, just. You're not even making it to a third album, babes. <laughs> Think about what we could do, you and me. There's not gonna be a swimming pool, you stupid slut. Isn't this enough? Um, no, because I'm gonna be in love with you just watching you with your wife and kids throughout life. No, it's not gonna be enough. And by the way, your wife is awesome, so it makes it even worse. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love you. So there's like two people on this plane who are about to like, there are three people on this plane who are about to lose their shit on Billy. Eddie, Camilla, and Daisy are about to go off on him. Oh my God. I think he's gonna break up the band. I think Eddie is 
going to single-handedly break up the band. Which is like completely out of left field, but like makes sense for him. Like it's completely out of left field, but it also completely makes sense. They're so like BTS. <laughs> Daisy Jones is like Jungkook. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like, Karen's definitely Jin, and I can't really say anything else about that. Um, his eye face? <laughs> Babes, what'd you do? Eddie, of course you did something. Of course Eddie did something. He has all of her glitter on his face. <gasps> Wait, why am I so shocked? Oh my God, I i wasn't even, I literally didn't even think of that. Didn't cross my mind at all. Well, I told her the truth, Daisy. That nothing happened and nothing ever will. I don't know what's worse. I, 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 you might as well just do it at this point. Like, come on, like, cause now you're trying to be a good person. <laughs> I took care of it. What are you talking about? I mean, this is what I'm saying. She has, they're like packing this plot into her like last few episodes when they needed a lot more character build up in the first couple episodes, in my opinion. Like, I think it's like a very like complex arc of her and Graham, but I think that we should have had a little bit more time with each individual character. I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. And I know I'm ruining a moment again. I would say that moment would be 10 times better if they actually let them speak to each other. And you can say that, like, it's like an unspoken, like, companionship between each other. And I think that's just a cop-out answer for not building storylines within shows. I'm sorry. Like, you're trying to, like, take the shortcut of developing characters and developing character relationships, and I don't personally like that. Stage, and you steal it from me at our hometown show. My grandmother was at that show. You fucking piece of shit. Mimi and Papa were there. When the tour ends, that's it, man. I'm out. I fully agree with everything he's saying. Like, go quit the band, girl. You go, go piss the girl. Like, do what you need to do. He's always talking like this. The neck goes back and the head shakes. I'm done. Ah, oh, you know what he speaks like? Oh, he speaks like freaking Rowley from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Don't come to my house. We're done. Like, it's that, like, recoil. It's the recoil and, like, head shake. Like... Don't call me. Don't come into my house. We're done. I know I know who you're referencing, Eddie. <laughs> Don't think that can get past me. Cause honestly, if I was singing like this close to someone, like I, yeah, I would kiss them. Like I don't even think I would have to like you that much to like kind of want to kiss you if our mouths were that close. Like while we were like singing a, an amazing song, right? I don't know, maybe that's just me. You're gonna be alone forever. You know that, right? What? <laughs> Who would you say that? <laughs> Who would say that? Who would say that after you, j after she just went through that like entire thing? Who would say that? You're gonna be alone forever? That's an insane person thing to say. Like, it's actually, like, borderline psychotic to say that. Good for Simone. Being a part of one of the most iconic performances, the end of their career and the beginning of hers, amazing. I hate to say it, I really do, but they all look like they're having a fantastic time. Four string slayer, it's Eddie Demetrius Roundtree. And he ate it up, Eddie. You ate it like it was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Go fuck yourself. You're done. <laughs> Love you, brother. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, I don't even like Billy like that. That was funny, though. And that was the end of the sh Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop. Just say you feel the same, and we'll be fine. Oh. I'm so sorry, Grant. Oh, my God. 
tough watch. They they haven't had one single scene where it's been easy to watch. Every single scene Karen and Graham have together, it's like, oh, rough. Let's be broken. Stop. Just be together. Stop. I don't want to be broken. That's awful that he just wanted to go to her when he was broken, when he was at rock bottom, because at least they had like a common familiarity with the, uh. Oh, Billy Dunn, I don't like him. I feel like he literally has glitter all over himself. <laughs> I've been in love. And it hurts, doesn't it? Top 10 things I would never want to see. A, a, a band I'm wanting to like witness in concert all crying on the stage. Gotta be like the bottom of my list. I don't understand what he's choosing right now. Is he picking Daisy? Is he picking... I don't really show what's happening. I don't really know which one he was picking. Maybe he should choose himself. <laughs> Just like you said. I didn't even think about that Teddy wasn't being... The world. Come on now, bro. Dude, that fucking... Dude, why didn't I connect that? Fuck. That makes me actually really sad. He was like... Oh, that makes me so sad. And then when your mother got sick, I, uh... Are you fucking kidding? I mean, she was the reason I joined the band. Are you kidding me? She saw a future for me that I couldn't see for myself. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Guys, right. guys, no, no, actually, no. And I would hand it all back to you for one more minute with her. You guys know I get really emotional. <laughs> I always get really emotional. I can't help it. <laughs> she was my favorite one. Here, Jules. Guys, I still, I'm like, <laughs> I can't. Oh, I've always been her biggest fan. Guys. <laughs> we have had such a wonderful marriage. Your father and I. Guys, I don't like crying on camera. Actually, I do it all the time. It's no big deal, but still. Tell your father to give Daisy Jones a call. I can't believe she died. <laughs> I just like it. And tell Daisy Jones to answer. <laughs> At the very least. I don't know what to say. Those two, st those two still owe me a song. <laughs> No, no. I can't believe she died. <laughs> she got sick. You know what? Fuck it. Every single critique I have for this show goes out the window. I'm fucking crying at the ending finale. I don't even care. I don't care about any of that. I take back everything I said in this video. Still hate Billy Dunn though. <laughs> Still, I don't like him. <laughs> He's the villain in my story. Actually, you know what? I'm at the end of it, like, Eddie was getting on my nerves. And I knew, like, majority of the time, like, he was in the right. But, like, he bothered me. Like, he bothered me a significant amount of time. I still stand by all my critiques about specifically, like, these side characters and how their, like, tropes were built up. I think it would have made a lot of the ending a lot more impactful. And I also wish that they didn't make the interview clip so one-liney, liney. Like everything was kind of just a one-liner. Whereas at the end, we get this really good, you know, you know, drawn out pieces of dialogue. And I know they were saving it for a little bit more emotional impact, but I think that would have helped build up their story through 
without it. Yeah, I think probably that's my least favorite thing about the show is the dialogue. I think like I'm expecting a lot more, but I think it they were kind of just waiting till that finale, huh? Now I, now I see what they were waiting for, but you shouldn't wait for a finale to use your best dialogue. You gotta a good show would have every episode having good dialogue, so especially a mini series. Come on. I loved it a lot more than I thought it would actually because I had no significant attachment to this show like people did that read the book. So I could have hated this show. I did not think I was going to like it this much. I didn't think I was going to fall in love with the music as well. I didn't think I would be so attached to these characters enough to cry over them. Definitely didn't think that was going to happen. But I do. I don't know how it compares to the books. Let me know how it compares to the books if you've read them. I'm sure there's a bunch of differences that I didn't catch on to. So I would love to know your guys' thoughts on that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me along the ride during Daisy Jones and the Six. And if there's any other series that you guys want me to do commentaries on like this, then let me know. Usually I'm more down to do the smaller series because I think I can give you guys a lot more commentary bang for your buck. Because if it's only 10 episodes, I can give you a lot more criticism and commentary throughout the episodes rather than a very long season season that you kind of get like a line or two from each uh, episode so let me know what you guys think and also leave down which movies you guys want me to watch next thank you guys for joining me uh, share this video with your friends if you liked it and i'll see you guys next time bye